Hi, Aries. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your general life and love reading. So this is going to be for just the next few weeks or so. What can you expect? What's coming in for you? What do you need to know, Aries, for both life just in general and also love? So let's take a look here. So keep in mind, this is very general. It's not going to be for all of you. It's not going to resonate with all Aries. So just take what resonates, take what fits with you. Um, sometimes the roles can be reversed. It can pick up on people close to you or around you. So take that into consideration as well. All right. So spirit, what messages do we have for... Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whoever's tuning into this reading, whoever's watching this reading, what are the collective energies and messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in life, in love, what's coming in for you, what you need to know, what you need to hear? Okay, we have Hold Your Vision. And we have take time to breathe out. I'm going to get a few more here. Let's see any other messages for Aries. What's coming in for you? We have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. And we have your commitment is being tested. Okay. And we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So I do feel like with these cards that come out here, just flew out. We have hold your vision and we have take time to breathe out. Some of you could be kind of in this place where you are being encouraged to really hold your vision right now, whatever you want, whatever you are trying to manifest. I do feel like it's important to keep your eye on what you're looking for at the moment, because I feel like it's kind of, it's interesting with this energy, your commitment is being tested. So I kind of feel like you're, it's, it's a really I'm trying to figure out how to explain the energy. It's sort of like you're moving into a time where you're going to be with this show the world, the real you, it's kind of like you're emerging or you're, you're coming into who you are. Um, and I do feel like with this here, a personal issue reaches resolution and take time to breathe out. It might be that you're kind of moving through, um, I don't know if it's healing that you're moving through, or you're just kind of moving through a period of transformation is what I'm getting as well. But this is very much of a, of a test of some form of commitment of yours. And it could be just your commitment to, you know, your path right now. It could be a commitment to maybe love, you know, we'll see what else comes up here. We also have believe in the impossible too at the bottom. So it feels like you're kind of on the verge of manifesting something here. You're on the verge of really coming into a lot of expansion, especially when it comes to something to do with who you really are or this, this show the world, the real you in some capacity, in some way. And so if you find yourself in this place where, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're feeling a little bit, um, it's kind of like you're in a, a bit of a hurt, maybe a hermit mode, or you're kind of in a bit of taking time to just breathe out, to meditate, to calm your mind, or you're being asked to do that because this is sort of a test for you in a way. You could be moving through some personal issues that are coming to light for you. This could be certain things. We'll see what else we have come up here. Certain things that you've been navigating within your own you know, healing journey, your own process here. And it's sort of like with this Cancer and Aquarius, it's, it's like right in the middle here, you're moving into like one phase of your life into a new phase. And it's going to be a more authentic phase to you. So maybe you're purging some things, you're moving through, you know, having to release some, some um, emotional baggage as well. Cancer could also be about the home too. Wow, we have sacred plan. 
Yeah, so there's, there's a sacred plan here. I'm, I'm feeling that very strongly for you, Aries. So right now, just try to trust that there's some form of plan that's unfolding for you. Your commitment is being tested. So it's like there's a test here to... staying on course to your path. So yeah, as I was saying, the cancer, it could be about your home life. It could be about your family for some of you as well. We have surrender and we have do the work. Yeah, so surrender is coming through here again. So it's definitely a time for you to surrender. I think that's where you're currently at. Would take time to breathe out. With this card here, do the work. That's also connected to, it's like there's a fine line between complete surrender um, and also continuing to do the work on yourself. And that's what I'm getting. It's like you are kind of purging some things. We have to take a step back. So let's see what else we have here because I do feel like there is... We have the yes to at the bottom. So trust right now in the next few weeks that if you find yourself needing to take a little bit of time out, um, again, there's a feeling here of surrender, take a step back while you continue to work on yourself because what's happening is that there's a sacred plan unfolding. Maybe it's something that you don't know or maybe it's something that's going to be made clear to you here, but it's definitely time to hold your vision while surrendering um, and you're going through some clearing here I feel because you're going to be coming out into a new version like of yourself here or some it could even be a you know it could be a relationship it could be something here that's going to be coming into more of um, its authentic form so let's see anything else for Aries what is going on for you, Aries, in the next few weeks? What's coming in for you? Look at that. Two of Pentacles reverse and transformation. So this just kind of flew out here. Definitely with the transformation, I'm really feeling that. So this is the death card. Let's get a few more here for Aries. We have the five of cups, emotional loss. We have the judgment reverse, truth in reverse. And we have here the seven of, yeah, patience and planning. So look at that sacred plan and patience and planning. So we have both the judgment card and the death card here for you. So this is a major energy I feel you're moving through. A lot of you, this could be in your, uh, well, actually we have all <laughs> chakras at the bottom because when I first got this deck, I used to, I, this is like a really long time ago, but it's really worn out and I had taken the chakras out of the deck. And so now they're like really crisp. So they all kind of stay at the bottom, but the sacral chakra is the one at the, at the bottom here, which makes sense. I do feel like a lot of you are moving through, um, again, with this personal issue reaches resolution and the five of cups, sacral chakra, y your emotional center right now is very important. So if you find yourself having certain emotions or certain things come up to the surface for you, um, especially if you have cancer in your chart, or maybe you're connecting to somebody with cancer as well, it could always be vice versa, but it's very much of a time for you to kind of um, hibernate in a sense, or you're something about it. You're kind of in a cocoon here of transformation. So with this here, emotional loss and the five of cups, I mean, that's what I'm kind of getting here is that some of you do have something painful or maybe just something that you've kind of buried, or it could be something that recently happened, you know, depending here for you. But I do feel like you are kind of just taking time to breathe, you know, taking time to breathe through this process for you. Um, take a step back here. And I feel like with this truth, the judgment and the surrender too. Um, I kind of feel this energy here. This could be for some of you, but with the two of pentacles, movement, choices, decisions, and the surrender, maybe you're being asked here to let go of a certain outcome, let go of something that you have been wanting. I don't know if it's something specific or if it's just the way that you've been wanting things to be, but there's something about having to let go 
and allow yourself to transform, allow yourself to, and allow the universe to give you something because there's some form of like patience and planning, sacred plan here that is in like, it's, um, it's manifesting for you. But it feels a bit further off or it feels like you're kind of in the middle of this transformation. So with this truth in reverse, see, look at that. Your commitment is being tested. So this can also be the judgment card can kind of in a way, I guess it can be a commitment in terms of the commitment to yourself, in terms of the commitment to your own personal truth, too, because um, it is Pluto energy. It's very transformative. So a lot of you, there's something here that you are having to confront um, and again, if it's not you, it also could be somebody else too. We'll see what comes up in love because sometimes it can be like that, but there's a feeling here of having to do a lot of in, inner work, especially within sacral chakra relationships, emotions, because something about the way that you were maybe going about it or the way that you're trying to press for something, um, is needing to either end or to transform. It feels more like a transformation, but it's sort of like you're preparing for something that's going to be a sacred plan for you and something brand new with show the world the real you. So we'll confirm this in a minute here, but it, it, that's how it feels. So yeah, in the next few weeks or so, allow yourself time to surrender Aries to the plan Allow yourself to kind of be in that sort of that blend between surrendering to your emotions if you're feeling emotional or if it comes up for you somehow, if it's triggered within you. Um, allow yourself the process of cleansing, of clearing here, um, while also like while also holding your vision, if that makes sense, like to your path. It's all like a, a bit of a bump in the road here or you're kind of going through like a a twist here. And that's what the seven of pentacles can often be things that we've already invested a lot into. We've invested time, maybe money. We've invested a certain amount of energy into it already. So let's see anything else for Aries. Yes, we have the peacock here. Yeah, look at that. Watch and wait and let it shine. So that's exactly it with the seahorse here. And actually, I think that card does talk about taking a step back, which is what we have here too. So it's a feeling of you taking a step back here in the coming weeks because it's sort of like, again, it's like you're preparing here for this. Let it shine. You are really opening your heart for a lot of you with this here. Show the world the real you. Very, very much similar here. So it's like you're going to be getting a lot of confidence or movement back within yourself in the future, but you have, there's something that's going to require you to kind of wait or to, I can't think of the right word because it's kind of like that blend between surrendering while also working on yourself. So it's, I don't know what that word is, but it's sort of like you're in that middle ground. So watch and wait because something is transforming and spirit is trying to kind of intervene here in a way to test your commitment to something. Yeah, we have dream the world into being. We have lay a solid foundation, the beaver, and we have let spirit be your guide, the hawk. So some of you also could be getting some messages, some synchronicities right now that are really trying to, to show you the way, really trying to lead the way for you right now. So listen to that. Listen closely to what spirit's trying to send you because I do feel like you, um, you have a, spiritual guidance system here and that's kind of what I'm getting with this card too lay a solid foundation the sacred plan and the seven of pentacles so you're in the process here of moving into a solid foundation in the coming in, in the future but this is kind of like the last step so it's not right now and that's why you have to kind of stay in there and to really work on your manifestation too Aries whatever this is about let's look at love here and see so 
So anything else for Aries in love? So let's just see what is going on for Aries in love. We have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. We have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Wow, we have the phoenix. So we have ascending and we have the phoenix here. So yeah, you're going through a lot of transformation. We have camera here at the bottom reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. So um, yeah, with the five of cups showing here too, I do feel like a lot of you, if you're kind of looking back on the past or something that you need to let go of here, um, because we have this very, very powerful energy of the ascending and the phoenix. So I really feel very strongly here that you have with this Cupid's arrow, you have a lot of, you have love coming in for you if you're single or you have some form of re, like it could even be a renewal, you know, it could be whatever you want it to be here, but whatever it is, it's like, you're really going to be shedding a lot of old layers here with the transformation, the death card. And this is why I feel with the sacred plan, there's a sacred solid foundation that you are going to be setting um, in the future here. And it's something that I feel you have to be patient here about because we have patience and planning. And a lot of it is going to involve love because it says here, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. But new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed minds. We have the word transformation twice. So I'm going to confirm a little bit more at the tarot and see what this is. But it's definitely clear that you're ascending, you're transforming. Um, and with this camera and the five of cups, though, and this take time to breathe out, two of pentacles reversed. Some of you, it could be that you're letting go of an outdated um, something that you have been it could even be a relationship. It could be something you've been holding on to. You've been reminiscing. You've been trying to, it's like you're shifting your perception on something or you need to. And that's what I think spirit's trying to assist you with right now to, um, with this here too, a personal issue, which is resolution. This is like personal memory or it's something that you're looking back on, or you're kind of in the middle of, um, letting that go. But it's a very clear message that there's a sacred plan for you, Aries. So in the coming weeks or so, I do feel like you are going to be going through this Phoenix rising, this transformation. And it, and it could be difficult because oftentimes when we have to go through that, it is quite difficult. And that could be why the Five of Cups came up. Um, so... So let's see for Aries, anything else for Aries in love or just in general, actually. Any other messages spirit for Aries? Ten of sword reverse, six of cups, the eight of cups, the moon in reverse, and here we have the star at the bottom. So definitely there's that indication of some form of divine plan. We have Aquarius twice coming through. So some of you could be connecting to somebody who's an Aquarius in the future, or you, uh, or maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. So... We have the devil reversed. We have the three of cups reversed. We have the ten of swords reversed. So this, the six of cups, eight of cups, the moon reversed. There's a lot of stuff here. I feel like this is more of a process for you, Aries. This is more of you going through like a, a clearing process for most of you. Because with the devil 
to be in reverse and the three of cups reverse too. And the Ten of Swords. I do feel like a lot of you could be releasing a lot of patterns here. You're releasing something from the past with the camera card. And the Six of Cups. But it's sort of like you're moving through this process. Because we have a lot of, we have the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Moon. We have a heavy water energy, Cancer and Pisces. But with the Eight of Cups here, this is exactly what you're kind of evolving. You're sending here. So a lot of you are going to be, um, it's like you're really going to be moving through a period here of, of it, it doesn't feel like an immediate process, though. It feels like you're kind of going to be moving through, coming out of any illusion with the Moon in reverse and the Eight of Cups. So it's like you're getting very clear or you're being encouraged to get very clear on you know what is your future what is best for you show the world the real you too and the moon this is this this could be very deep it could be somebody else too but there's something very deep here about really releasing a lot of masks really releasing a lot of patterns here I see because it says a personal issue so maybe that's why it's like something on a very deep personal level for somebody is having to be released when it comes to the six of cups, like what do like, what do we need to let go of from our, it could even be childhood. I don't know what this is, but it's very, it feels very like personal, I guess. So there's going to be a feeling here of having to go through kind of like a, um, a difficult time. And then when this is all over with, it's like, there's a Phoenix rising here. And this is going to collide with the star and the seven of um, pentacles, lay a solid foundation, the sacred plan. So it's like there's a sacred plan that's being sort of protected over here of some sort. Um, and the spirit's really trying to guide you or maybe even somebody else in this direction. But it has to be an ascension to happen. You know, with this ascension card and the eight of cups and the moon, we have to really transcend our fears. We have to really go deep into maybe some shadow work here um, in order to open up. It feels like a really, really like becoming into a new version of, of you or somebody here. Um, and this is why your commitment is being tested. Yeah, exactly why we have the judgment to this really relies heavily on a lot of past stuff. So I don't know if it's a past relationship or if it's just past experiences or wounds, but it's definitely coming through as a lot of past stuff that is having to be worked through first before we can really align to our sacred plan. So until we can kind of surrender to this process, that's when it's going to come in here. But the devil is very heavy. This, it feels like there's something heavy under the surface here. Oh, grab that. So let's see what this is. This just flew, flew out. We have, you have everything that you need to proceed. Yeah, so you, it's like you're going to have everything that you need here to proceed or something's going to be made clear to you. Yeah, you're going through a major transformation. Anything else for Aries? What's coming in for you? What are you moving through? Spirit is sending you signs that hold the answer. We have your past is affecting you. So there's a lot of stuff about the past here. And again, with this Cancerian energy, a personal issue, it does feel connected either to the home for you or for somebody, or it's just like a whole, like it's, it's a whole kind of deep well of stuff here that I feel is having to be brought up to heal with the moon. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what the word is for it, but it's very deep. So I, I do feel like there's going to be, um, spirit is trying to send you messages or there's something that's being sent to you in terms of. Um, what you need to focus on. So however that could come through to you, hold your vision.
So if you are trying to let go of something, Aries, and you're trying to release something or someone even, then spirit is telling you here that you have everything that you need to proceed, or you will have everything that you need as you go through this kind of process of surrender, this process of releasing what no longer serves you here. And as you do that, you are going to be becoming into the true version kind of of you in a way to set a solid foundation here. This could even be other people involved with the three of cups somehow here that have to be let go of that are not serving the new journey anymore or just people who are um yeah just not serving the journey for you i'm actually going to get one card from the tarot for the outcome for you what's coming in next for you with this seven of pentacles the phoenix show the world the real you what is the outcome for aries in love or just anything here The three of coins. The nine of cups in reverse. We have the page of wands. So I feel like with this three of coins, some of you are going to be just really wanting to put in more of a dedicated effort. We have lay a solid foundation. For some, it is about a connection that's going to be evolving into a new phase with the star. And if this is the case, this could be somebody here who is really, again, all of this like very watery energy is having to be let go of to allow something more solid to begin. But something is going to require like, really becoming a very dedicated person. And this is very heavy. But for those of you, you know, this is you and you are just going to be really yourself putting in a lot of solid foundation into what you're trying to build for yourself. We have two pentacles, seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles as well. So it does feel like you're going to be, it could even be in the workplace for some of you. Maybe you're going to be doing something that's going to be much more aligned to your work, like what you really want to do. So very much there's a sacred plan and it's going to all be built on something dependable, something solid, very much so. And this is coming into your future here but you're kind of preparing for it. And because these are kind of very practical grounded energies and these are really not. And so this is why I feel you're having to, with the two of pentacles too in reverse and the transformation, it's like you do have to let go of the things that are maybe, maybe they're fantasies, maybe they are, not in alignment with your stability of some sort is what I'm getting. It's like you're elevating yourself from one level to the next is what I'm definitely getting here. So however that could fit in with you, maybe you're looking for a higher love. You're looking for a more loyal, dedicated love. But in order to do that, there's a lot of stuff here that needs to be addressed because you are, your commitment is being tested. Like, what do you really want? What are you really looking for? Uh, and, on the other end of that, like I mentioned, it could be that there's somebody connected to you here who also, especially if you have already something built with each other, you know, and you both are kind of in this together, um, they may be kind of going through a time where their commitment is being tested to this connection or to this relationship. Can they really lay a solid foundation here? In order to do that, there's a lot of stuff that has to be looked at to what is codependent, what is false, what is superficial, and how can, how can the, how can we release that and move towards a new way of the plan here? So it's a lot of like divine intervention I'm getting. So let's see any final messages for Aries in the next few weeks, what's coming in for you? What do you need to know? The past is a huge part of this. So 
that might be a kind of a clue of what that could be. But there's a, the, the past is a really big part of the situation that needs to be cleared. <laughs> Healing from the past. Anything else for Aries? We have remain positive. Yeah. So it's definitely about your love life. Okay. Remain positive about your love life. We have that same exact phrase twice with this Cupid's arrow. Have faith in love is coming in. So you have to have faith right now with whatever you want to happen, Aries, as you move through what seems to be a difficult time. Okay. Or you're attached to somebody who's going through a very difficult time. And so you do have to stand up for what you want. I think that's part of the commitment is being tested. Anything else for Aries? It's up to you. We have changing your mind at the bottom. We have compromise. So some of you, there is a need to come into some form of um, decision here. So I'm kind of getting for some of you, you may have to make a decision. We do have this page of wands at the bottom. So it could be communications going to come in, could be a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be, it could be a fire sign though. Um, yeah. There's, I do feel like there's going to be, for some of you, you're going to have to make a decision here on, do you want to compromise with it could be a person I am getting for some of you. It's somebody who this individual has been the one going through all this stuff. This very, very deep or both of you really. Um, and this is why it's like this huge process of kind of like being in the middle of a transformation. And then on the other end of it, there is a sacred plan here, but some of you, it's going to be up to you. Do you really want this? Is this in alignment with you? So it's sort of like you are going through the Phoenix rising in the sense that you may be changing your mind. Because I think that exact word came through too. Um, yeah, changed mind. So it's sort of like it's going to be up to you. Are you still in alignment with this path? Because there's something about this commitment being tested. So you, you're going to have to make this choice about what you want in the future. It's not right now. It's in the future, I think. Um, depending though on your situation, but, um, because something I feel is not finished here in your life or you're, you're having to kind of come into peace about something. And it also could just be on a platonic level too. You know, you may be coming into compromise with somebody, three of coins, um, and then it's sort of like you are going to be figuring out what is your foundation. So that remains to be seen, I feel, but it's very much going to be healing very much with the star and it's going to be blessed for something to be built in the future, whatever that is or whoever that is. But at the moment in the next few weeks or so, it's going to be a huge transformation for you here again, healing from the past, having to go through a lot of shadows here, I feel, um, lots of personal stuff that has to be cleared and let go of, but remain positive because whatever you do want, whatever that looks like to you, maybe you just want something dependable. You want something solid. You do have to maintain your vision or hold your vision here because it is going to come in for you when the time is right for you. But until you can kind of raise from the ashes, you know, then it's going to be kind of, it's not the right time just yet. So this is just kind of a process right now. So I hope this could help you, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you next time. Much love.